Kayla Convoy has more on how big of a role animals play in the spreading of the coronavirus. Pets have been a big talker in the last several days, especially since a dog in the United States tested positive just late last week. Experts we spoke to say the research is still new with only a few studies being done, but they say typically domestic animals are given the virus directly to see if they contribute to the spread or show signs of symptoms. In most cases, it's a large swab full of the virus that they are given through the nose. They've tested dogs, cats, and even ferrets, saying the dogs were least at risk of showing symptoms. They could test the dog as being positive, but they were really not being infected in there. On the other hand, the two other type of experimental animals, whereas the cat and the ferret, they were highly susceptible. So one thing you have to understand here that these are laboratory animals and they're given the shot of the virus in a very high amount in into their nose. He says another study looked into wild animals and found that not many are susceptible, saying typically the virus is just passed human to human. So everybody out there, just stay safe and keep tuning in. We will have new myths to debunk each and every day. Reporting Kayla Convoy, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.